What social media platforms should you be on for your business to grow in 2022 and 23? Hi guys, my name's Chloe. I'm the co-founder at Vina Vida Partners and the marketing and social media specialist and strategist. And today I'm going to give you guys a little bit of insight as to what social media platforms should you be on. There are so many platforms out there now like TikTok, Instagram, LinkedIn, Facebook. It's pretty much impossible to be on all of them unless you have a large marketing team or social media professional working 24-7 for your business. You might see a ton of your competitors having extreme success, you know, Joe Wines is blowing up on Instagram, Frank Wines is constantly bombarding your Facebook feed with their irritating advertising messages. Every influencer under the sun is suddenly talking about Mary's Wines. But the question is, where is your brand going to see success? So the answer depends on three main variables. Number one, are you a B2B or a B2C brand? Number two, what strengths and resources do you have available amongst your team? Number three, where is the attention at today? So the first variable, guys, is pretty straightforward. If you're a B2B brand, you absolutely must be on LinkedIn and you also should have a Instagram and Facebook business profile set up. Even if you don't use Facebook and Instagram to grow your business, you will want to have the account set up so you can have a pixel to put on your website to actually track all of this data and all of this information of what activity is happening on your website, even from outside platforms like LinkedIn or just organic website browsers. And I would also be looking at some sort of video platform, either YouTube or TikTok. It's pretty obvious to see that video is driving the content game out there on every single platform and I'm telling you now that the TikTok and YouTube algorithms are going to benefit your business for the long term. I'm going to do a different video which actually breaks down the individual social media platforms and how they can be used and benefit your brand. So let me know what platform would you like to learn more about? TikTok, YouTube, LinkedIn, drop it in the comments below and I'll make sure to follow that up with some value for you guys. However, nailing down your content strategy for your B2B brand is going to depend on variables two and three. So let's dive into the next one. Oh, but I forgot. If you're a B2C brand, then you absolutely must be on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok. Again, Facebook and Instagram you don't necessarily have to use but you definitely want to have the business profile set up so you can have all the pixels attached into your website and you can be tracking this data and metrics. Now if you want to grow fast, jump on TikTok. If you have been using the other social media platforms to grow your business, you may have noticed a massive decrease in views lately, especially on platforms like Instagram. And there is a reason for it. I'm not saying that Instagram is completely dead. There is definitely a strategy that you can implement to grow your business there. But I would be leading your content game with TikTok and cross posting these TikTok videos over onto your Instagram account. Now you have to do this strategically. You can't just copy and paste. There are a few little tricks that I will dive into probably on another video in how to get this done properly. Now let's talk about variable number two, which is going to take a lot of self and team awareness. Really take a look at your team or sit down with them and ask them the questions. Who out of them is comfortable to be jumping on video? Do you have a social savvy person in your team who is constantly watching the latest trends and really keeps up to date with internet culture? Are you, as a leader, strong in writing or communication? Do you have a marketing expert who is determining and leading a marketing strategy? Now while it would be nice to have all of these people working within your team at the winery or brewery or distillery, it's highly unlikely that you do and that's okay that's when outsourcing becomes an opportunity for your business and your brand but the first step is really analyzing what resources that you currently do have within the team and where your blind spots are and where you need to be 
hiring out now if you don't know that's totally fine if you want to jump on a discovery call with us we'd be happy to walk you through some questions um, and kind of point and prod to really uncover you know where these gaps are and help you close them in some way shape or form but basically the available resources that you have is going to help determine what mediums aka video writing audio which is going to help you determine what platforms that you should be utilizing and also help you determine what associated strategies are going to work best for you and your business on those platforms moral of the story find out what your strengths are and outsource your weaknesses or where you just simply don't have the time or bandwidth in your team to get stuff created so the third variable being where is the attention at today this is highly contextual and it's going to depend on when you do get this content and when you are viewing it but as of today video is where it's at it doesn't matter if it's short-term video or long-term video what we like to do here at Venom Vida is determine a strategy that is going to capture that long-term video and then dissect it into shorter pieces that you can then distribute out to all of your other platforms but what we really like to do is content squeeze so you are spending the least amount of your time to get the video created while we are really maximizing that content and distributing it out to all of your platforms while strategies tactics and social media platforms are going to be constantly changing the most important focus for you is to really be using these channels right now in order to build your brand with a solid brand it doesn't matter how things change out there in the metaverse you'll likely see success on many platforms with a solid brand that's backing the business anyways we'd love to hear back from you guys what are your thoughts about the different social media platforms and how they're working for your business or your brand make sure to leave a comment below and subscribe to our channel for more content like this see you next time